Welcome to Dancing Moon Songcast. I'm Scott Simpson, casting from Dancing Moon Studio in Spearfish Canyon, on the north end of the Black Hills of South Dakota, right on the banks of the Spearfish Creek. If you'd like to follow along, you can download a free PDF from my lyric book from scottsimpsonmusic.com forward slash lyrics. And of course, you can find links to all my music there as well. So let's get casting and find out what song we're going to talk about this time. Well, this episode marks the uh, beginning of our second year of song casts. Uh, Episode 53, this is. uh, We're starting a whole new year, so very excited to get started with things. We're going to kick this year off with uh, uh, several episodes, uh, 12 probably to be exact, the next 12, including this one, uh, talking about uh, songs from the new album. Uh, The new album is called Ozzy's Guitar 20 Years Later. Uh, 12 songs and... uh, All of those songs originally appeared on 2000's Ozzy's Guitar, uh, which was uh, really my first album that's uh, that's available widely. Um, And so celebrating the 20th uh, anniversary of that album, uh, I spent the last uh, year or so uh, working on uh, reimagining each one of those songs. And so uh, these, uh, these next uh, 12 episodes, including this one, uh, we're going to look at each of the songs from uh, Ozzy's Guitar and from Ozzy's Guitar 20 years later. Uh, we'll play both versions, uh, probably start with the original version, uh, talk about some lyrics, talk about changes in the style um, from, uh, from the very first version uh, to, the, uh, to the currently uh, brand new version. And, uh, and so that'll be a great journey around uh, some, some songs that are really, uh, really special to me. They, uh, the, many of them come out of uh, uh, family stories, um, stories coming both from my family and from my wife's family, um, other uh, personal relationships, uh, and we'll talk about each one of those. And so that's gonna, I'm, I'm really looking, looking forward to these, uh, these 12 episodes. And uh, what a great way to kick off year two of Dance and Moon Songcast. Uh, so this album, uh, this this episode, excuse me, um, we're going to talk about the song Ozzy's Guitar, um, uh, the uh, title song for both albums, really. Uh, so uh, we're going to listen first uh, to the 2000 version of Ozzy's Guitar. Talk a little bit about it. And, uh, and then a little bit later in the episode, we'll listen to the new version as well. So this is Ozzy's Guitar from Ozzy's Guitar 2000. Ozzy drove an El Camino Cuffed the hymns of his Navy Chino's man alive Paul Drive Odd jobs from here to Reno Living life Heck if we know how or why He was alive Every time the Aussie had come around His bags were dusty with the gravel roads of a thousand Little towns, we saw the world we traveled far on the silver strings of Ozzy's guitar. It was a six string La Valenciana with my teeth brushed in my warm pajamas. I was good to go. Granddad show Well we ride the rails We waltz across Texas His fingers dance Till our hearts would break His voice would soar and Swoop down low Every time that Ozzy had come around 
were dusty with the gravel roads of a thousand little towns. We saw the world we traveled far on the silver strings of Ozzy's guitar. Ozzy's guitar uh, from uh, the title song from uh, 2000's Ozzy's guitar, the original version, uh, recorded version of that song. And you know, as I was thinking about doing these uh, these episodes, you know, since we're doing an original version and uh, a brand new uh, reimagined version, I I had to decide whether I was going to talk, uh, whether I was going to play and talk about the the new version first, and then uh, and then get to the older version later, and or or vice versa. And I, uh, I guess I made the call uh, that we'd go ahead and 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 listen to the uh, to the original version first, and then talk about the song, and then reveal kind of the uh, the new version. Now that that album has been out now for a week, uh, so uh, it, it uh, was released on uh, August first, um, two thousand twenty. Um, that is Ozzy's guitar twenty years later. And um, and so there's no this is not really a premiere, but uh, but I I would ask that you, you stick with me through this episode. We'll uh, we'll kind of uh, get to the uh, the brand new version uh, here in just a few minutes after we talk a little bit about uh, the writing of the song, the the lyrics, and some things uh, having to do with that uh, that original version that we just listened to. So it's a very um, to me, a very upbeat song, uh, a very happy song, which uh, I think is is appropriate. That it was based on on really happy memories um, that uh, my wife had shared with me when we uh, when we first. I you know I don't know if she shared it with me when we were first dating. Probably before we were married. I guess uh, we we started dating in 1984, and uh, we uh, we dated. Um, and were or were engaged to be married for an, um, several several years there, and uh, finally actually got married in uh, in eighty seven. Um, but she would tell me about her uh, her grandpa Ozzy, who was uh, still alive at the time, and I got to meet him a number of times. He was at our wedding and. And um, so, uh, you know, it wasn't uh, just telling me about somebody I, would, I was, would never get to meet. But, 
he was a real colorful fella, and um, and her memories um, as a little girl um, are what really shaped this song. And she would tell me about, uh, you know, Ozzy. She wasn't sure exactly always what he was doing, but she knew he was doing lots of lots of jobs that were were around the country. He would travel some and. And he, uh, he, she asked me, I remember the first time she talked to me about, about Ozzy, she asked me if I knew what an El Camino was. I said, oh, yeah, sure, sure, yeah, the, kind of the, uh, the pickup ca- uh, car pickup kind of thing. And she said, yeah, 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 that's what my grandpa used to drive. And he would, you know, he'd, he'd, he'd come over to our house. He'd come through Iowa to visit us, and, and he'd, he'd have, you know, his luggage back there in the, in the back of the, of the El Camino. And, and he always would bring his guitar. He had this guitar, and he would come in. And and uh, she would tell me about you know they'd get all ready for bed, brush teeth, and get in pajamas, and then he'd he'd tell stories and and play his guitar some and and stuff like that. So a lot of a lot of great memories for her. By the time I was uh, uh, in the family, uh, we were married, and I was you know visiting uh, her parents' house a lot. Uh, somehow at some point, Ozzy's guitar ended up being. Uh, just there at their house um it was always sitting over there in the corner and um it was a uh la valenciana uh which as far as i can tell is not a super was not a super expensive guitar um it was originally intended to be a classical guitar but ozzy at some point had put uh steel strings on uh, on the classical guitar which is kind of a no-no but you know whatever it's uh, it's not a big deal um i think he wanted that steel string sound and that's the guitar he had so he put steel strings on it um it did have steel strings on it when i saw it and when uh, my wife's parents gave it to us um and uh i decided to go ahead and and uh, and restore it to uh, its its original intent which was a uh, as a more of a classical nylon stringed guitar, and so I I put those on. And uh, around that time, um, then I was, I I had gotten some equipment and I was starting to do some recording and I was putting together uh, this this first album, which did not have a name. Uh, It was moving in a direction of stories uh, that I had gotten from my family this story from uh, my wife Cheryl's family fit into that well. And a lot of these stories, because of the time, the, the place I was at in my life in um, 1999, um, as, a, as a young father, um, uh, um, uh, a fairly young husband, um, I was thinking about my role as a father, as a husband, as a male um, and so a lot of these songs began to coalesce around um, that experience. What, what does it mean to be a father? What does it mean to be a grandfather? What does it mean to be a, a man, to be a friend, a male friend? What does it mean to be a husband? Um, all of those things. And so it became kind of a, kind of a male, <clears throat> male-centric uh, sort of album, which is not to say, I think, not to say something bad about it. It was certainly though my exploration of what it meant, uh, what, what I could learn from the men, the male uh, figures in my family about who I am and what I ought to be. Um, and so, uh, so I had just gotten this guitar uh, handed down from uh, my wife's grandfather to us, and, um, and I wrote this song. Because I was thinking about him being on the road, I was thinking about the stories and the songs, and and that childhood experience of having your grandpa tell stories and tell, and sing songs. And my grandpas uh, both certainly told lots of stories. Neither one of them was a big singer, so the song uh, stuff was not big for me coming from them. Certainly, my family though sang a lot. My my dad and my mom we. We all sang as a family, and um, my grandmother on my on my dad's side was really loved singing. So, so anyway, the song grew out of that, and uh, so we'll take a look at at the lyrics, um, and I, and I'll also mention, especially in this first version, um, throughout 
that first album, Ozzy's Guitar, I did not in all cases, but in, in throughout much of the album, I used Ozzy's Guitar um, as the main guitar for, uh, uh, for, uh, uh, for the recording. And, uh, and so that is Ozzy's guitar that you're hearing there. I'll also mention, um, uh, well, I'll mention that later, but, but, it, but it was really, really nice to be there and playing Ozzy's guitar on a song about Ozzy and about Ozzy's guitar. So let's take a look at the lyrics. Ozzy drove an El Camino, cuffed the hems of his navy chinos, man alive could grandpa drive. Odd jobs from here to Reno, living light, heck if we know how or why, but he was alive. So we start out with this idea, you know, and, and, and of course when, when you're songwriting, you're, you're looking for the rhyme. Um, the, the the big thing that kicked it off for me was was when my wife when we were just dating she she asked me if I knew what an El Camino was and and uh, her her grandpa drove this El Camino so um, so that that was the end of that first line El Camino brought me into uh, Chinos and and Reno I don't know if he ever had a job in Reno but uh, but he was had jobs all over the West. Um, and and was and was just moving, and he lived in a time when you know you you remember the, the back in the days when when uh, when the guys would put these big wide cuffs down at the bottom of their boots, uh, right down there on the, the bottoms of their pants, and and so that was kind of a thing that came to me and cuffing his navy chinos and 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 his being out there adventuresome and driving job to job and and uh, and 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 living that life on the road, uh, a little bit romanticized there, kind of really uh, trying to channel uh, the feelings that my wife had about him when she was telling me these stories early on. And we get into the chorus then. And every time that Ozzy had come around, his bags were dusty with the gravel roads of a thousand little towns. We saw the world. We traveled far on the silver strings of Ozzy's guitar. Uh, so this is really about kids growing up in a small, you know, small place tucked off in the corner of Iowa who are getting a sense of the broader world of, of, of adventures of, of the wider, the wider west of the United States from the stories and the songs that Ozzy comes around and sings. We saw the world, we traveled far on the silver strings of Ozzy's guitar. Now, the, the guitar doesn't have silver strings on it anymore. In fact, the, the strings on it right now are nylon and I think they're black. Um, um, but, of course, when Ozzy was playing it, he had those steel strings on there. So that's where the silver strings came from. It was a six-string La Valenciana. With my teeth brushed and my warm pajamas, I was good to go for Grandpa's show, for Granddad's show, excuse me. Well, we'd ride the rails, we'd walk waltz across Texas. His fingers danced till our hearts would break. His voice would soar, then swoop down low. So, um, touching on the guitar again, getting getting the name of the guitar, the La Valenciana. Um, you know, I, 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 this this song came out very much with a Latin style, and I suppose that just uh, just kind of it happened based on a number of of things. Um, I I should say that's not the heritage. That's not my wife's heritage. That's not Ozzy's heritage. Um, uh, he is not uh, Latino. Um, however, um, uh, the fact that he drove the El Camino and the fact that his guitar was a La Valenciana and the fact that it was this classical uh, nylon stringed guitar that I had inherited, that I had was playing, um, all of that um, led the song into having that kind of that Latin rhythm. 
uh, kind of a cha-cha-cha that is really pronounced at the very end of the song with the bum 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 at the very end. So so all of that just came together, and I, I wasn't... Um, yeah, you know, some things when you're writing a song are very intentional. Other things just kind of occur, and you just say, okay, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. So the strumming style, the style of the of the uh, of the uh, the lead guitar that comes in, all of that uh, has this this very much of a of a Latin feel. And uh, and so all of that uh, creates this new thing. Um, in the song and in the storytelling of, of Ozzy and Ozzy's guitar that may be uh, unique in itself. Um, I think had I just sat down to write a song about Ozzy, um, I, I don't know that any of that would have been there. But, but the right elements came together at the right time in the right way with looking for those rhymes with words like El Camino and La Valenciana and a classical nylon stringed guitar to, to kind of push push the song in that direction. Um, and so so you have the kids there and uh, they're they're all in their pajamas and and he would sing these songs uh, that would uh, they'd ride the rails they'd waltz across Texas all of these songs kind of <clears throat> cowboy folk songs from that era uh, about about trains and about about waltzing and and about Texas and uh, and his and his singing um, and just to, I, I I envisioned um, him transporting his grandchildren to all kinds of of different places in the songs and in the stories. We get back to the to the chorus. And every time that Ozzy had come around, his bags were dusty with the gravel roads of a thousand little towns. We saw the world. We traveled far on the silver strings of Ozzy's guitar. And then I, I think the, the song at that point uh, moves into a, a little instrumental verse um, with, once again, that uh, kind of Latin... Latin styled uh, uh, lead guitar on the on the nylon strings. We get to the last verse. Well, some days I miss the rhythm of a highway song, and I want to be with him. Oh, it ain't long till I find that guitar. It never held its tunes so good, just some rusty keys and some weathered wood. But there's an open road in every scar. So. In this verse, probably get a little bit philosophical here. Uh, the idea of wanting a highway song, of, of feeling a restlessness, of wanting an adventure, and and grabbing grabbing a, a, a that guitar uh, that has those stories kind of in it, that has that travel, that that ex, that adventure, those adventures with Ozzy, kind of embedded in it. Embedded in it in many ways, not not in its perfection as an instrument, but in the roughness of the instrument itself, the scars in the wood, uh, the rusty keys, um, and 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 uh, this is where I'll mention um, it, one of the things that inspired Ozzy's guitar twenty years later was the fact that I we had had the guitar uh, for a few years. And we were at the time uh, living in Texas, and we had a flood, and the flood really messed up the guitar. Um, it, it it didn't get completely submerged, but it got really wet. The bottom part of it was very wet. It kind of came apart in 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 places. Um, it certainly increased the amount of rust that was on it. Um, it. Uh, it, it really was in bad shape, and it sat in storage for quite a number of years until just a couple of years ago, I pulled it out and I said, you know, I need to restore this. I need to bring it back into playing condition, which I did. Um, and I'm not a luthier by any means, but, but I worked on it, and the process of working on it and getting it back into shape so that I could actually play it again um, really brought on the idea of this revisioning of Ozzy's guitar, the album, this revisioning of those songs, um, seeing what might still be laying dormant in those songs, where I could bring 20 years of experiences, 20 years of, 
of studio work, recording in, in my studio and, and doing more songwriting, um, what, how that might impact these songs. If I, if I revived them and, and tried to do something fresh, something new, try to, try to find the fresh life in them, um, the way I, I was able to do with with the guitar with itself, uh, which which I did restore, um, I uh, and, and so the idea is that there is this value in scars. There's this value in being weathered. There's this value in having stories, even difficult stories, even hard, ugly stories, as a part of who you are. That gives you. Uh, character. It gives you life. And those who come in contact with you, with the guitar, or with you as the person, gain something from those scars, from those rough edges, from those difficult things that are embedded there. Um, and, and so Ozzy's guitar becomes a, a song about the importance of of not being smooth and perfect, the importance of having some scars, of having some rough edges. And I think that's important both in music and in life. Um, and so, so I, I, I guess if I were going to say that, that's what the main, the main idea of Ozzy's guitar, the song, is. And that would be it. And so we come then to the final chorus. And every time that Ozzy had come around, his bags were dusty with the gravel roads of a thousand little towns. We saw the world we traveled far on the silver strings of Ozzy's guitar. We saw the world we traveled far on the silver strings of Ozzy's guitar. So that's the lyrics and uh, kind of the story behind the writing of the song. Um, so back in uh, 1999, um, I was just getting started with uh, home studio and I had a, a few instruments, including Ozzy's guitar. I, I did have a, a keyboard um, and uh, it was a, uh, a Roland JV-1000 workstation, which I still have. And I bought it in the probably the early 90s. Um, but it's had, had lots and lots of, 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 of wonderful sounds embedded in it. And it also had a, a sequencer where I could lay down the rhythm uh, track and, and create a rhythm track for it. Which, if I were going to choose one thing that bugs me about that, this original recording would be the, you know, the rhythm, uh, the rhythm track on it, I, which, I, which I did lay down myself. Um, it, it, it feels a little... A little um, uh, I don't know the word stilted a little a little forced a little um, a little um, fake uh, to me but but I, you know I was, I was I was figuring out my my uh, my skills you know I was working on things and I, I had been a drummer uh, in in through high school and even into college I was a drummer so I knew about rhythm um, but I also knew that it was going to be nearly nearly impossible for me with the equipment that I had to to actually do a decent recording of, of, of live drums. Uh, so this was the next best thing. And that sequencer and that workstation, uh, which I still I still use. I, I'm, I'm not using it to build my rhythms anymore, but but the the sounds, the, the classic just just some awesome stuff from the from the 90s um, sounds on that keyboard I still I still use. Um, but uh, but so I, I I laid down that that rhythm and 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 uh, and got that Latin feel along with of course the uh, the uh, classical guitar and and the nylon stringed uh, classical uh, on the lead as well. Uh, I did lay in some uh, some some strings in the background, um, and then uh, my wife uh, Cheryl. Uh, sings uh, on that original version, version all of the uh, the, the uh, harmony vocals as well. It was fairly upbeat, um, a pretty quick song, uh, pretty fast moving, um, and so you know, as I was looking, uh, you know, twenty years later, 
at uh, revisioning uh, these songs. Um, on each one, I really consciously made some decisions about um, what changes I could make to, uh, to really freshen up and make the song different. Um, and, 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 uh, and so I made a couple of choices um, that are important, I think, before we listen to the new version of Ozzy's Guitar. Um, one, I, I made the choice to uh, bring, uh, bring the key down just a tad. Uh, I lowered the key just a little bit, not because I couldn't sing it at that key, um, but I wanted to, I felt like a, a slightly lower key would give a little more spaciousness for some really rich background vocals. Um, uh, my daughters were very young uh, in when I made the first album. Um, although on one song that we'll talk about later, they did sing even as children. Uh, my daughters are adult uh, women now and both have beautiful, beautiful voices along with my wife. And I wanted to really highlight um, their vocal uh, harmonies and really really create a, 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 a setting in which that could be a, become a, a really major and important part of the song. All those harmony vocals and harmony, uh, um, uh, female harmonies. Um, so the other, the other thing that I also did in service to that is to slow the song down just a little bit. Now that's always dangerous because you don't want to lose the energy of a song by slowing it down too much. Um, and when it started out, I thought, eh, I've, I've done too much. I've, I've slowed it down too much. That's not going to work. But then I, I, I stuck with it because my hope was that the energy could be brought by those remarkable vocals, which I knew were going to be remarkable. And, um, and so uh, I feel like uh, then... As, as we went forward, once we got the vocals uh, from both my daughters and my wife uh, layered in there, I felt like uh, it was a good choice, slowing it down a little bit um, and lowering it slightly. Um, it gave uh, the perfect space, I think, for them to work uh, with, with their uh, remarkable voices. Um, so with that said, we'll go ahead and listen now to Ozzy's Guitar, uh, the song, from Ozzy's Guitar 20 Years Later, uh, released uh, just last week, uh, August of 2020, um, the new and uh, re-envisioned Ozzy's Guitar. <laughs> As he drove an El Camino Cuff the hymns of his Navy Chinos Man alive Could Grandpa drive Odd jobs from here to Reno Living light Heck if we know how or why was alive Every time that Ozzy had come around His bags were dusty with the gravel roads of a thousand little towns We saw the world we traveled far Silver strings of Ozzy's guitar. Six string lava Limciana with my teeth brushed in my warm pajamas. I was good to go. Texas, his fingers danced till our hearts would 
break his voice would soar and swoop down every time that Aussie had come around his bags were dusty with the gravel roads of a thousand little times we saw the world we travel far on the silver strings of Ozzy's guitar wonderful um, female harmony vocals from uh, my daughters and my wife. Uh, I should I should go ahead and give you their names. Uh, Laurel uh, Simpson, who lives here in Spearfish. Megan Detlefs, who lives here in Spearfish. And of course, Cheryl Simpson, my wife, who also lives here in Spearfish. Um, so just, uh, you know, I think, uh, as I said earlier, I think uh, bringing um, the key down just a tad and slowing it down uh, just a tad uh, created the perfect space uh, for some wonderful, wonderful uh, harmony vocals um, and uh, without losing any, any uh, energy. And in my, in my uh, experience, uh, uh, and at least according to me, uh, my opinion, uh, gaining some energy in the process, uh, some energy gained uh, through uh, maybe depth and richness 
of the instrumentation and of the vocal harmonies. Um, and so, uh, so that was really great. It also seemed to fit well with the idea of sitting down uh, for some stories and settling into something at, at a slightly slower pace. Um, now, when I listen to the original, it seems it seems a little rushed. It seems a little too, you know. Let's let's get to the end. Um, whereas this version seems to really relax into the ideas of stories and songs that you listen to. Um, instrumentation wise, of course, uh, we still went with the the nylon. I will I will admit I did not use um, Ozzy's guitar. Um, as the primary guitar to uh, in the recording, I used another uh, nylon classical that I have that has uh, a better, a, a slightly better sound. Um, as I said earlier, I'm not a luthier. Uh, Ozzy's guitar is restored, and I can play it, um, but uh, it, it it the water did some damage. Um, it's it's rough. It's 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 a wonderful guitar to look at and to be inspired by. Uh, in its scars and its and its uh, lovely uh, lovely uh, weatheredness, um, so um, but uh, we have of course the uh, st- we did stick with that uh, the the Latin feel um, the Latin rhythms um, we did have uh, once again the the rich um, harmonies um, we, we we you know of course began with the original harmonies that my wife did uh, but then. Uh, went beyond that as well um we still had some strings back in there and the one thing that really uh became uh something new uh, it felt like as we had were coming to the end especially in the uh in the instrumental section uh i had i had laid down the uh the uh, classical the nylon guitar uh lead for that section it just seemed to really want some uh, some brass, and so um, and so I did compose. Uh, uh, those are not uh, actual horns; they're they are sampled. Uh, I did work on the keyboard with that, and uh, but I composed the uh, the brass uh, section uh, that comes in there in the instrumental in the instrumental verse and also near the end. Um, and so uh, those all came together to make, a, I, I think, a, a, an, a song that honors the original and, and maybe hopefully goes a little beyond it as well. Um, and maybe beyond is not the best word. You know, I, I, when you enter into a project like this where you're taking something that you did as a younger person and you're trying to bring uh, something fresh out of it, um, the first thing you have to do is not have disdain for that younger person and what they did. Uh, in fact, you want to honor uh, what you did back then and honor it by going uh, uh, at least up to it and, and, and hopefully beyond it. Um, that doesn't bring dishonor to, uh, to that young, younger uh, person who, who did that. It, it, uh, it says, hey, you got me to a place where I can I can do this now as well. So, and that's a nice philosophy, I think. You know, anyone who's looking back at themselves in an earlier era, look, reading your old journals, reading your old love letters, reading, listening to your old recordings, um, whatever it might be, um, I think it's loving to that younger you uh, to value that, and then even to uh, to make a deeper, richer meaning out of it that's part of getting older being able to reflect and to to wrest new meaning out of out of those old things that were so meaningful to you uh, in a different way maybe when you were younger so there we have it uh the first of uh at least probably 12 episodes where we are going to look at songs from ozzy's guitar 2000 and Ozzy's guitar 20 years later, 2020, and uh, and do a little bit of comparative analysis, hopefully more comparison, less analysis than anything else, but uh, appreciation for both versions um, and exploring how those songs came about, um, both in their original and in the newer uh, reimagined versions. Uh, that was Ozzy's guitar 
the title song of both albums. Thanks for joining me. I uh, hope you'll be joining me all through this next year. I hope you'll also go back and listen to uh, some episodes from year one. Um, it's been a great journey thus far, and I'm just super uh, excited about moving forward into this, uh, this second year and having you along with me. Of course, you can find all my music and lyrics at scottsimpsonmusic.com. Uh, you stream uh, all the music on Spotify, Apple Music, iHeartRadio, Amazon, whatever else you want to stream it on. It's streaming on everything that streams out there. Uh, certainly purchase uh, at Amazon or at iTunes. And um, I just appreciate having you along on this journey we don't have we're not driving an el camino we don't have dusky dusty uh suitcases in the back um but i tell you what uh we're we're seeing some uh, some fresh things we're taking some adventures and uh and looking at old scars and seeing what we can make of them so thanks for coming along with me be well <laughs>